What's going guys, on? Guys! You know what time it is. Before we get into today's video. We gotta ask you guys for help for something, like questions. About, you wanna do it? Yeah, you want Okay, you take one, I'm gonna take one too. We got kids, guys, we got kids. Ah, Our little please. babies. You see that I've been growing them. I can't guys, we came it. back from the wedding venue, and then we came back to this. The sweet potatoes. They were like no shade, like no sun. They were yeah. in the shade, no water, just on the counter. And we came back like this. Yeah, you see the means? So we put in water. They got little uh, roots yeah. growing. And apparently they grow a lot. Yeah. But question for you guys. Do you guys know? So do potatoes are going to grow from this? So no. Yeah, what's going to happen? I think so because look. Oh, shoot. You see the means? So we're going to go buy pot at walmart get some and dirt like, from outside i'm gonna go in the fields maze organic dirt you know and i'm gonna get dirt and i'm gonna plant them i'm a i'm a planter a, a, a botanist is yeah. that how you say it a botanist before we get into today's video know. just let you know guys uh look i might look a little bit ragged and stuff we moved today yeah we we're in our moving. new spot super excited but like our clothes in the suitcase yeah and i'll come freshen up the beard and stuff i got a little no, you look good. Okay. I don't care. You Me? see that the newlywed vibes, guys? The little sunshine? Mm-hmm. You see that? Okay, guys. I can do that too now. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to get into today's video. <laughs> you guys have been asking us a bunch of questions. Hmm. We posted it on our Instagram for you guys to ask a bunch of needy, gritty questions that you wanted to know. So, take it away, husband. Okay, wife. Mm? First question, and we pick like the most questions that most people ask, the yeah. duplicate questions. Mm -hmm. So, is it different being husband and wife versus being girlfriend boyfriend? Basically, how does it feel being married? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yo. So it's me and Dominic. We lived together for three years, right? So a lot of the things that would be like super exciting and stuff, we've already been through it. So. It feels the same for us, but it, mm. it feels different. At the same time, But the thing is, yeah. like, me and Dominic got baptized two days later as well. So, I don't know if it's the Holy Spirit in us now. Something's different. Something's different. You so. know, it's funny because we talked about it a lot, you know, like, a couple... We literally talked about it yesterday, yeah. I think. So, it was funny because it's like nothing physically has changed or, like, yeah. our routine hasn't really changed. But I'm going to hold my phone like this so you guys, you know... <laughs> But it's just like something does feel different like yeah. spiritually or it's like a feeling of like wholeness or completeness yeah. or like it, it does feel better like there is a feeling that is like yeah like maybe something before was missing now is not missing I don't know it yeah just I just feel like weird. I'm like my like I don't know like I feel yeah. wholesome and, and the baptism after as yeah. well we got baptized in the ocean by Naka's dad so Mate. it was amazing <laughs> I don't amazing for you guys the whole ceremony was I almost, amazing I though. almost flew in the ocean I fell down my dad wave, couldn't yeah. hold I don't know, maybe I'll post the video on my story, but I mean, it's, it was too messy, guys. Hmm. But, yeah, but yeah. So it does feel different. There yeah. is something that feels different. Like we just feel more complete, I mm -hmm. guess. Uh, closer, I guess, like spiritually, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, after kind of saying those vows and going through the wedding ceremony, it, it does change, right? There is yeah, something that does yeah, make yeah, you yeah. feel like united as one. It really you know? does. Even though before we, we did, did feel like we were, we were kind of already married, but just now it's like solidified and stuff. We we're kind of already married. Like just like by like our day-to-day -day activities. Oh, okay, yeah. And stuff. We were living like yeah, married yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll let my wife read the next question. Oh, all right. Um, how's the cyst? Any improvement? Because I can't wait to see little Naka and Dominic. We can't wait too. Um, I'm actually really scared, you guys. Like, I'm go very, for a yeah, yeah, I'm very traumatized. Like, I don't talk about it a lot, but it was so scary, like, hearing how, like, the, the doctor, like, the fertility doctor made me feel. So, I'm just getting over the, the little, like, I have PTSD and, like, it's just, I was so scared and I was so traumatized that it's just going back to like see a doctor is like extremely scary for me. So I have to build up the courage to like go back, but we are going to go back. It's just, I'm just gonna wait. I think I wanna wait like a couple months. A couple, no, like at the end of the month, I'm gonna go yeah, back. But yeah, but it would have been a couple months. Yeah. Like, I think it does make sense as well. Like since the treatment that we tried, 
and then like basically the whole month and then waiting another month without the birth control mm -hmm. and then just to see if like because it could take a couple months for it to reduce in size yeah. so just go to a checkup definitely the second gynecologist the second opinion will go back to him mm -hmm. not the first not one the first one and just go another checkup to see if there's any changes but yeah at the end of and... the month i am going to go back for sure mm. it is really scary like when the date comes uh for our appointment like i feel like i'm gonna have like heart palpitations because mm. it's just like it, it, it was, was extremely yeah it was scarring like it was scarring. like i don't know if you guys understand like how it was just horrible the way she was like make me feel the way she was looking at me and it's just no one wants to hear that oh you may never have children you know oh you have stage four endometriosis so it's just it's just scary things to hear but like the way she made me feel like no one should go through that yeah. so i'm just still healing from that experience and i am like extremely scared to go to the doctors just because like i don't know it's it just, just brings back it kind of like flashbacks yeah. you know next question where and when are you guys having your honeymoon that's a good question got asked a lot of times yeah um so mates. we will we are kind of in the process of planning the honeymoon we uh, are you are we like to think that every day is a honeymoon yeah you know that's what, what i, I mean? tell people i'm like <laughs> every day with dominic is a honeymoon like we live in pv and like there's beaches around there's resorts here so mm. it's just like we don't have to go far what are you saying i mean uh, what do you mean <laughs> <That's it. laughs> we don't have to go far for like a honeymoon yeah, to get a getaway mm -hmm. yeah but there are kind of spots that we talked about that we would like to go to like early in the new year it'd be nice like around that time mm -hmm. and it gives us time to do some research and do that well i'm definitely thinking of doing a little some something surprising you know i mean you planned the wedding and it was too nice so i'm gonna mm. let you take over this so definitely some place but don't know where yet mm -hmm. let maybe, us know in yeah the let us know in the yeah. comments maybe like thinking like south asia like dubai a caribbean island but the thing with the caribbean is that we can get the caribbean here yeah right so it, like it wouldn't be that different mm -hmm. so like if it be caribbean it have to be like one of those villas you know with yeah. like the pool where you can kind of in the ocean right there like the maldives stuff i would uh, like, like to go to the dominican though yeah just with like maybe like the villas on the, yeah. the clear caribbean waters mm -hmm. or like south asia like thailand would be nice like a month honeymoon you know yeah but you guys are gonna speaking of dubai did you guys no watch soon. um dubai bling absolutely that was Dominic good, yeah. loved it i love it i'm waiting for season two hello mm, it caught us off guard too, yeah, yeah when we put it we weren't expecting to like it i was out here having <laughs> dreams dubai bling at the like, beginning of tv shows we usually kind of go on our phones and scroll and yeah. stuff like that but i looked over and she wasn't scrolling i'm like oh she likes it <laughs> it was i don't know like the grand entrance i love mm. their outfit like yeah. they were just so beautiful and like they're very messy ibrahim he's messy like but i love that type of thing like mm. it is it does look like it's it's like a little the scripted, drama is scripted yeah. and stuff sometimes those are the best though that's the best yeah. like you, you got to because or else ooh, it's a little boring you yeah know? the coffee scene if you watched it mate mm. we were like oh my god well, we couldn't sleep that night <laughs> our heart was still pounding from the free, from the show i was like yeah. we were both looking jaw drops but it was anyway good. all right so next question you can read it what did dom pay the diary <laughs> of course he paid the diary sorry <laughs> you think this was free no 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 dominic paid, uh, paid the diary to my parents and yeah it was super quiet like and as you guys can see like our wedding was very private so it was a diary like just because i feel like a lot of people like when it's time for the diary they invite a bunch of people mm, right it's so, like a show yeah i just yeah. wanted it to be sincere and like it's a gift Personal. right and like yeah. diary like me and dominic were already living together right so it was like a little different so it was more like his money is my money too right yeah. so it it's was like our gift yeah culture. exactly so of course he did and when we yes, have I did. when we have uh sons and daughters we're gonna do diaries too like you know if we have sons we're gonna pay and if we have daughter <laughs> okay okay but yeah but i wouldn't keep the money like for our daughters like i would give it back or like invest mm. for our children i think that's for what the future. Yeah, yeah for the yeah. future like so you know i'm thinking about my diary for the kids i'm gonna do some investments or something like that you know and give it back to them so mm. that's what that's i what would we, do yeah, yeah. but 100 percent like i love diaries like i think it's an amazing 
it's a good and a bad thing, right? When you don't abuse it, it's a beautiful, the idea and the message and the concept behind it, it's beautiful. It's just people make the, it ugly. The symbolism behind yeah, it exactly. and the meaning of it and mm -hmm. why it came upon is, it's, is it's good. It's beautiful, yeah. you know, it's just, some people just take advantage of it, mm. right? Or when and there's like different greed, like greed, like yeah. when it, like when it becomes greedy and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's when you kind of have issues. A hundred percent. For us, it wasn't like that. It wasn't at all, like that. So. It was absolutely beautiful. Our wedding was ah, uh, beautiful mm -hmm. maids. I just we've watched our wedding video like ten times. Probably, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Last but not least, mains. Okay, this is a good question. How soon? We'll try that again. How soon what? Let's go! How soon will we try again to get pregnant? Much love to you both. Much love to you as well. And how soon uh, it's been soon, meaning yeah. uh, we never stopped trying to get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's still. Um, yeah, that's I know, why it's, it's been a while and we just haven't really stopped. It's just like we're still kind of yeah But now I think we're going about it a little bit differently uh -huh. We're not kind of thinking about it or trying to you know, like take tests well, there. I'm always thinking about it. She is yeah but I, People are always like oh don't think about it even like when I was single and people were like oh love's gonna happen when you least expect it mates I was always expecting love <laughs> everywhere. I went is my future husband here like so like I don't know when people say least expect it, it doesn't work like that for me. I'm always expecting it. Babies, pregnancies, I'm always expecting it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, it's less stressful now. Like, but less like you, you, you do still think about, it, but I feel like you are kind of less involved in it as you yeah, used to be. Yeah, I just be put it in the hands of God. Like, before honestly, the appointment and a couple months before that. It was like every little thing, like, oh, is this a yeah. symptom, is this a symptom? But now, instead of like every day, it's like once a week. Yeah, now... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, like once a week, you'll be like, is this a symptom? Oh, oh yeah, I have yeah. a cramp, is that implantation? <laughs> That was me today. But yeah, we we're, we're definitely are still trying, guys. Uh, leaving it in the hands of God and just kind of accepting that you know we don't have control over it right mm -hmm. so accepting that it will come when the time is right yeah and like you can never question like if it's not coming it means the time's not yet speaking of but, we don't have control of it what? in dubai bling the girl was talking about how she wants to have a son for her uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Her husband and, and i was like girl it will not was, work like that like there was a name for it too like girl bells I can't effect or, or, or method or something yeah, like that. Yeah, she said to put apple cider vinegar to down there. Wash yourself. It was apple cider vinegar for one sex, and then the other one was like baking soda and something. Yeah, down else. there to get a and son. I was like, that's just like me wanting mm. our babies to be born in April. You don't control yeah. that. So Looking now, back now, yeah. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I can't believe. Whatever, you live and you learn, you know? Yeah. So now whenever I see people are like, oh, I want my babies to be this, I want to have a boy, I want to have a girl, I'm like, I was like you mm. once, and then life humbled me, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks guys. Yeah, thanks thank you for all the questions. Thank you again for all the congratulations. Thank you, me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support, me. Mm. And we'll see you in our next video. Hopefully it's great news. Next video will be great news. Stay tuned for our next video, guys. <laughs> like, stay tuned. It's going to be exciting announcement, me, that you are gonna love. Smash like button, comment, subscribe. Toodaloo! Talk to you soon. Bye!